All right, so I tried to upload this this morning. I did publish it within 60 seconds. Uh, it was down. And you can see copyrighted content was found in the video. I think through the algorithms, iHeartRadio detected that I had played a clip, and it was down in 60 seconds. I've never seen anything like that. Um, in any case, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And um, I do want to continue my expose on this fraud, Lauren Daigle, who is, I've never seen a, a so-called Christian artist that wields such influence, even causing grown men to behave like women. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue to expose this. In this radio interview, um, which I would call, I'd call this an absolute clinic of cringeworthy narcissism. Cringeworthy narcissism. As you'll, you're going to listen to Lauren Daigle gush over Lauren Daigle. Um, even the label here, now the, the content that you're going to listen to here is uh, Lauren Daigle talks about everything from Quincy Jones to Aretha Franklin to Lauren Hill, Roberta Flack, and getting into stories about zip lining, parachuting, base jumping, whatever, food, life on the road, everything except Jesus Christ, which is right on cue for her, right? Um, so you're going to listen to all that um, while she uh, tells you by her own words and out of her own mouth that she does not want to be labeled as a Christian artist. Now, that particular statement should not be a shocker for those of you that love Jesus Christ. And for those of you that love Lauren Daigle over Jesus Christ, and yes, that is the majority of you, uh, you hold her up as an idol, you're going to be offended. You will probably continue to defend her. And that part is sad. My prayer is that all of you would come away from this fraud and into the loving arms of Jesus Christ who offers you salvation. Do not be fooled any longer um, by this satanic minister of righteousness. And, of course, I'm referring to 2 Corinthians 11. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed into the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Lauren Daigle. And, again, it's never, ever, ever been about Lauren Daigle's sins. We are all sinners. What it is and what it comes down to every time is the influence. By the influence that she wields, she is teaching her flock, and yes, she does have a flock, she's teaching her flock to be friends with the world. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. If you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God, James 4.4. 4. Don't get mad at Drew Bloom. I didn't write it. Look it up for yourself. See, if most of you were reading scripture, you would know this. Now, that's always the, in either case, that's always been the contention with Lauren Daigle, that she is teaching her followers to be friends with the world. This is her doctrine, which, by the way, is false. So in wrapping this very quick video up, Lauren Daigle does not want to be called, or should I say labeled, a Christian artist. You can listen to it yourself. The description is in, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the link is in the, the uh, description. Um, and for those of you that love Jesus Christ in all truth and sober-mindedness, God bless you. Love you so much.